Well, Pat and Jeff, those FBI agents left Jose Weizar's office this afternoon with a lot of boxes, possible evidence, but it's still not clear why those search warrants were served at his office and his home. FBI agents carried multiple boxes and envelopes out of Councilman Jose Weiser's office after spending the day inside collecting possible evidence. We are executing a court order search warrant. The federal agents converged on LA City Hall around 9 this morning and made their way to the councilman's office. His staff was reportedly asked to leave all documents and computers behind while they were moved to a conference room. The FBI simultaneously is executing additional warrants in the L.A. area. Agents were also at the councilman's home in Boyle Heights and were seen removing boxes, hard drives and other possible evidence. We have multiple agents here at L.A. City Hall to execute a federal search warrant. Unfortunately, because the warrant is sealed, cannot comment on the nature of the warrant or the target of the warrant. Weizar was recently named in two lawsuits filed by two former employees who accused the councilman of ethic violations, including that his staff was pressured to work during the city time on the campaign of his wife, Rochelle, who is running in the 2020 election to succeed him when his term runs out. Weizar strongly denied the accusations. The councilman has also faced sexual harassment charges, and the city council voted to pay $185,000 to end a lawsuit over a rearing collision he had while driving a city car. Weizar was elected to the 14th district in 2005. Now, the FBI says that they weren't expecting any arrest today. We did reach out to the mayor's office as well as the council president Herb Wesson's office, but they didn't get back to us. Reporting live in downtown LA, Amy Johnson, CBS2 News.